Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. <laughs> of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Beast! It's time to take out the trash! Peekaboo, I see you because I'm YouTube famous now. Available Halloween 2023, the album, Dad. Spooky, spooky, AF. Jeepers, creepers, how'd you get them peepers? I don't even know the words. Creep show, peep show, how'd you get them eyes? Boost! I know that those were not the words, I don't even know. When I started this whole video, I almost said, hey you guys, it's Peter, and I've had it! <laughs> because I was like, before I started filming this video, I did this real serious thumbnail, I was like, and I was like imagining it would say, I've had it underneath here. So I was like, hi you guys, it's Peter, and I've had it! I've had it! No, but I really have. Like, I have really had it with some shit, okay? So, let me just tell you. First of all, listen, Linda. Yesterday, I tried to... Well, first of all, let me just tell you, okay? I'm drinking some coffee in my, uh, my gl gl gloopity gloopity drip cup that I had to have, okay? I had to have this cup. And so I got on Etsy and I paid an outrageous amount of money because I couldn't find it in any of my stores here in Indianapolis. So I ended up ordering this on Etsy and paying an outrageous amount of money. And I got it about this, I don't know, a day or two before somebody sent it to my P.O. box, which was so nice. So now I have two of them and I haven't even used them that much at Halloween. I haven't even really used them to see if they glow in the dark that much. <laughs> okay, they supposedly glow in the dark. So I'm like, this thing that I had, did you ever do that? It's like you have to have this thing and then you get it and it sits on your fucking counter for like weeks on end. My, my good Judy Tani Jean, she is killing for this, right? We will go to the Meyer or the Walmart or something like that and then she's like, oh my god, did you see this? And I'm like, what is it? And she's like, oh my god, you can make penne pasta and spaghetti from um, a baked potato, a leftover baked potato that has cream cheese or sour cream and uh, cheese and onions. You can make spaghetti and penne pasta from that with this machine. All you do is put this potato in there and it makes the most amazing pasta dinner. I'm like, really? And she's like, and it's only $59.95 and I'm like well Tanya Jean you have to have it and she's like I know and then she buys it and then three months later it's still sitting in a box on her kitchen counter and I'm like uh, Tanya Jean how is that fantastic baked potato uh, pasta and she's like I don't think that thing works I should never have bought it and I'm like have you even taken it out of the box she's like no but I've heard from a lot of people on the Facebook because she's on the Facebook all the time she's like I've heard a lot from a lot of people on the Facebook that it don't work. I'm so tired of the Facebook. Can we just talk about that first? Now, yesterday, I tried to do this rant video, and I got into ranting about uh, a bunch of the beauty influencers, and none of you cared about that. <laughs> it's okay, because y'all were going to Halloween parties and dressing up. My husband this year, I said to him, I go, what are you going to dress up for? Because we're going to this Halloween party tonight. That's why I'm trying to film this real quick, see? And I go, what are you dressing up for um, uh, for the party tomorrow night? And he goes, Coven. And I go, Coven? Because <laughs> it's like his favorite installment of American Horror Story. First of all, you talk about a rant. This is like rant upon rant upon rant upon rant, okay? So if you don't know, I do these rant videos where I bitch and complain about things that are driving me fucking crazy, okay? And that's what this is today. So first of all, can we just talk about American Horror Story, which is one of my favorite shows in the entire history of television in the entire United States and the world and internationally left of the Mississippi and all that, okay? I love American Horror Story, okay? I love any Ryan Murphy TV show. First of all, I went to Carmel High School in Indiana, okay? About 20 miles up the road is Warren Central High School, which is where Ryan Murphy went to high school, I think two years before I did, okay? Now, can you imagine if we were both boyfriends in high school, what a power duo we would have been? He could have been making all these TV shows and I could have been in them. Can you even imagine that? Okay, people already compare me to that Leslie Jordan. He should have, he should cast me. Don't you think Ryan Murphy, okay, from the home state of Indiana should cast me in American Horror Story or one of them shows. I think he should, okay? When they do Hotel 2 with Lady Gaga, don't you think I should be one of them vampires up in that show? Don't you think when they do Coven 2, I should be one of them witchy people up in that show? I could be a witchy poo person, but anyway. So, background story. When I first got with my husband, we both love Halloween. Halloween's like my favorite holiday of the entire year. So for those of you that don't know, on my Peter Does Stuff channel, 
we're watching all 13 movies of the Halloween franchise in a row, right? I have to tell you, like, one of my favorites so far that I forgot about was Halloween 3, which is not part of the Michael Myers universe. And I really loved it watching it this time. I'm thinking about maybe watching it again before Halloween. It's just a, such a Halloween kind of movie. But anyway, I just got done with the Rob Zombie ones that are, I don't love them as part of the franchise, which they really aren't part of the Mustafa Akkad franchise. See, this is where, like, you, you like, talk to somebody that really knows too much shit, and then you like, really get kind of bored. I'm already bored of myself talking about the different franchise, comp like I said, okay? The different timelines. Is it one, two, then the last three, or is it one, 2018, Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends? Is it Halloween one, two, four, five, and six? I mean, it, there's so many different timelines of how to watch these movies, and which ones count, and which ones don't, and that Danielle girl, she's pissed off because Jamie Lee Curtis said she didn't watch her movies because she don't watch scary movies, and then her and the girl that played Lori Strode, they got a podcast. Y'all know about all this kind of stuff. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Y'all aren't that grand you're in some horror movies, okay? Jamie Lee Curtis is literally the scream queen, okay? She is the scream queen. How are you gonna come for Jamie Lee Curtis? And then everybody, she said that she was real rude to her on the red carpet, and I literally got on this Reddit thread. This is like, you wanna talk about tangents, okay? I got on this Reddit thread where it was this, I can't remember what her name is, that Danielle girl. You know what I'm talking about? The one that she played Laurie Strode's daughter in like four, five, and six. And then she played Annie in the Halloween one and two, the Rob Zombie movies. You know that one? And then her and that scout girl that played Laurie Strode in the Rob Zombie movies, they have a podcast. Well, apparently she said that Jamie Lee Curtis was real rude to her because she said, oh, I, I played your daughter or whatever in a movie. And Jamie Lee Curtis said, well, I don't watch scary movies. I haven't seen that movie, right? Because she doesn't. She's made that very clear. She don't watch scary movies. She don't like scary movies, okay? Like what you like, okay? Listen. I don't like me no Shane Dawson movies either, but I still have to watch them to cover for this channel. But that's beside the point, okay? So anyway, Jamie Lee Curtis, she don't like the scary movies. Well, this Danielle girl, why can't I think of her name? Why can't, she's iconic in the whole franchise. Danielle Halloween. Hold on, let's, is it, uh, da, I want to say Danielle Hunter, but she's, she was a uh, Miss Continental. I loved her so much. Okay, Dan, Danielle Harris. This is her name right here, Danielle Harris. You know her, okay? She played, uh, Jamie was her name. She played Jamie, Lori Stroh, Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter in four, five, and six. And then she played Annie, which was actually, Lori Strode's best friend, and anyway, just watch the movie. So we're watching those movies over there. But apparently she came out and she said that Jamie Lee Curtis was a real bitch to her on the red carpet. And I literally read this entire Reddit thread. You all want to know how I waste my life, okay? This is, y'all think I get ate up with the Jeffree Stars and the Trisha Paytas. I don't give a fuck about them people. I don't. Y'all are like, y'all have such a hate boner for Trisha Paytas. Y'all have such a hate boner for Je No, I don't. I give a fuck about them. I make my videos and I go on. Y'all have got it twisted, okay? What I have a hate boner for is that this Daniel Harris wants to come, who I loved in 4, 5, and 6, okay? But she wants to come for Miss Jamie Lee Curtis, the queen of the world. No, girl, you better get fucked, okay? Daniel Harris, get fucked. Throw that up in your podcast, okay? Because I done read the whole Reddit thread. I mean, it is pages. This Reddit thread is pages, girl, okay? About Daniel Harris and how she said Jamie Lee Curtis was such a bitch to her on the red carpet. And literally, the entire Reddit thread is like, Jamie Lee Curtis came into my restaurant in San Diego. Jamie Lee Curtis came into my gas station in Oklahoma. Jamie Lee Curtis came into my convenience store in Nevada. Jamie, and Jamie Lee Curtis is the nicest person in the entire world. I was on the set of this movie with Jamie Lee Curtis. She went around and shook everybody's hand and introduced herself and said, hi, I'm Jamie, blah, blah, blah. Jamie Lee Curtis is the nicest person in the entire world. Okay, you cannot hear an account of the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis is rude other than from Daniel Harris. But there are many accounts of meet and greets with Danielle Harris where people are saying that she's rude as shit, okay? So I don't know, girl. Maybe you want to hold that mirror a little bit closer to you. This was not the rant that I thought I was going to make today. I honestly thought, Peter, it is Halloween weekend. You need to make a fucking Halloween rant, okay? Little did I know that I would be making the rant of the rant of the centuries, okay? Of Daniel Harris versus Jamie Lee Curtis. And this is what I have to say to you, Danielle uh, Harris, okay? Not Daniel Hunter, Miss Continental. You ain't no Miss Continental, okay? You ain't no title holder, okay? You were Jamie, Michael Myers' niece, in 4, 5, and 6, and you were lucky enough that Rob Zombie thought that you were such enough of a cult actress that, oh, you were also in Roseanne, weren't you? Oh, you were the one that was cheating on uh, David, cheating with David on Darlene. I remember you, girl. Yes, I do, Danielle Harris, okay? 
You done picked some wrong roles. But anyway, she was in the Rob Zombie movie. She played Annie. I thought she was better playing Annie than she was playing this Jamie up in the 4, 5, and 6. But I love this. 4, 5, and 6 are probably some of my favorites of life of the Halloween franchise. True story they are. But why are you going to come out? Why don't you just act like, oh, no, she didn't diss me on the red carpet? Because you want some attention. You want to stay relevant. Girl, you better go watch The Life and Times of Jeffree Star, okay? She can maybe teach you a few things about trying to stay relevant. It ain't getting on no podcast. Dissing Jamie Lee Curtis that just won an Oscar, girl. <laughs> Seriously. You might want to get fucked on that one. But anyway, so we're over there. We're watching the Halloween movies on my Peter Dustoff channel. I don't even know what I got to, what I was getting to, but saying a bunch of stuff about what was I talking about? I don't know, but besides the fact, here's the thing, okay? I've been so Halloweened out. Oh, my husband being coven for Halloween. Okay, so here's the thing. So we're going to this Halloween party tonight. Now, I always try to come up with the cutest costume for Halloween. I do, okay? Back in the day, I just talked about this on my vlog. Back in the day... When I was growing up as a kid, I had the most fantastic costumes. My dad always helped me make them. They were like, I mean, he was sewing on sewing machines and by hand on My dad could make costumes like nobody's business, okay? So anyway, my mom used to always say to me, your dad is the best sewer in the entire world because he's a surgeon because my dad's a, pl a retired plastic surgeon. So my dad would sew me these outrageous costumes, paper mache masks, on and on and on. I, in retrospect, he's probably Michael Myers because they showed that Rob Zombie movies. He was making all the masks, right? But anyway, I used to love to get in the costumes. Now, when I started getting real into the, the alcohol and the drugs, it was, I, I just wanted to go out and party and find me a cute guy. Okay, that was all it was about. I wanted to find me a Halloween boyfriend or something like that. You know, real, real cute. I didn't want no outrageous costumes. So I always went as like a hippie, you know, or me and my friend would like wear like all black costumes, all black jeans and black shirt or something like that. And we'd just be Halloween or something like that, which kind of translates. I get, I get it now. Okay, so my husband, I said to him, I go, what are you going as for Halloween? This is about his third year going as Coven, okay? That's like saying, what are you going as for uh, Halloween? I'm going as Modern Family. Or, I'm going as The Price is Right. Like, that don't even make no sense, okay? Except... <laughs> This is where I kind of talk myself out of my own ideas. It's probably my biggest rant is when I believe something so fervently. Do you ever believe something so strongly? You like believe it in your heart of hearts, okay? Like I so believe that Coven as a costume is the stupidest idea on the face of the earth. Do you ever believe something so strongly in your heart of hearts? Okay, now I'm truly, I'm talking to you out there, that one person out there, okay, Judy Smith. Do you ever like believe something so truly in your heart of hearts, but then you convince yourself otherwise, but you don't even want to let yourself know that you don't believe otherwise? <laughs> That's how you realize you're going nuts, right? Okay, and that you need to be up in the nervous hospital. That's truly, like, like, back in the day, we used to call them nervous hospitals. But back in the day, because when you get, like, you know. But anyway, that, listen, don't come for me. That's like a 30s, 40s thing that we used to come for, okay? I understand all about that. I'm very respectful. But this is a rant video, okay? But anyway... That's when you know you're kind of losing your mind a little bit, okay? It's when you, like, so believe something, but then you convince yourself otherwise. Because I think, like, just saying that you're going as a TV show is kind of a stupid idea, right? Except that last year at my friend's Halloween party that we're going to tonight, her, uh, like, her cousin and her husband, they came as supermarket sweep. But it was so genius, you guys. They both wore, like, khaki shorts, and they both wore, like, matching, like, blue or light blue or pink t-shirts, and they had their name tags that had their names on it, and they were pushing those kids' grocery carts. It was fantastic. I mean, everybody knew that they were supermarket sweep, right? Okay, but here's the thing. Like, so see, now I'm kind of talking myself out about my idea. I still think... I still think Coven's kind of stupid, okay? And my husband right now, I know as soon as I walk inside because he can hear it, everything I'm saying right now because he's upstairs putting his Coven costume together. I know as soon as I walk inside, he's going to say, so you think my, my costume is stupid? And then it's going to cause World War III. And then my husband and I are going to be in a fight on Halloween and then I ain't going to get no nucky nucky. It's not going to be, it's not worth it, okay? So you just, oh, I think Coven is the most fantastic idea in the entire world. Coven is stupid, okay? Especially when you do it for three years in a row. Let me tell you why they like Coven. Well, first of all, it's his favorite American horror story, okay? Don't everybody want to be Jessica Lang the Supreme? Everybody wants to be Jessica Lang the Supreme, okay? So, what? Don't act like you don't want to be Jessica Lang. I wanted to be Jessica Lang when she was in Crimes of the Heart and I was 15 years old, okay? Everybody thinks that Jessica Lang is like the deal today since she's been in American Horror Story. 
I was watching Crimes of the Heart. I was watching all that movies back in the day, okay? I love those movies. Y'all remember she came out? She was in King Kong back in the day. You remember that? Which was ah, and all that kind of stuff. I've been loving Jessica Lange for a long time. She used to live on a farm with Sam Shepard in Minnesota. And my good Judy and I, he used to say, or we used to say together, we were going to drive to Minnesota and we were going to drive up to that farm. Because I love that movie, Cape Fear. Did you ever see that with Jessica Lange? Where she sits in that window and she's smoking a cigarette. And she looks outside and she sees Robert De Niro sitting on her fence and the fireworks are going off. Ah! You want to talk about lust. L-U-S-T. Okay, that right now. I think that might be the only movie. Well, no, I can't say that. That I thought Robert De Niro looked good in. He looked good in a lot of movies back in the day. If you know what I'm saying. But anyway, but that scene right there. Jessica Lange can smoke in a movie like nobody's business. So, my good Judy and I, he and I, we were going to, well, first of all, we were going to write this book. This video did not turn out to be what I thought it was going to be at all. We were going to write this book called Slaws of America, and we were going to drive, wouldn't this have been such a great book? We were going to drive cross country and go to all these different diners, and we were going to stop, and we were going to uh, get coleslaw, because I love coleslaw so much. Don't you? And macaroni salad! Oh, my God! so much, but I do not like jello salad, okay? My family reunions for my dad's side of the family in Fort Wayne when I used to grow up, we used to always have a jello salad. They'd always have like four kinds of jello salad. Have you ever had it? It's gross, okay? And then they would always make those cookies with the noodles, the Chinese noodles in them with butterscotch. Ugh, make you gag a bag it. Okay, they were gross. I couldn't stand them things. When people bring the weirdest shit to family reunions and then they're like, what do you think? Oh my God, I have to tell a story. This is so funny, okay? <laughs> My good Judy Tiny Jean is going to be so pissed that I tell this story to anybody, but I don't care because it is so funny. So Tiny Jean's got this, I'll, we'll just call her a family member, okay? Tiny Jean's got this family member that has like this secret recipe macaroni and cheese. And so like to every family thing, she, she makes macaroni and cheese, right? And she like swears by her macaroni and cheese recipe and she thinks she's got the best macaroni and cheese in the entire world. She's real nice. She's a real nice gal, right? I like her a lot. So anyway, but she's kind of braggadocio when it comes to her macaroni and cheese and stuff like that. Well, for those of you that don't know, my husband is literally the macaroni and cheese expert of the world. I could call up Tiny Jean right now on the phone and she would start laughing. She would start howling laughing telling the story and this happened like 10 years ago, okay? So I probably told it on a vlog already or something like that. By the way, my battery is about halfway marked so it's going to die here in a second and I have to change it because I this, did, this video did not turn out to be what I thought it was going to be, okay? I thought it was going to be this rant video but now I'm just going on telling stories. This is just stories in my life. But I'm going to call it I've had it because I literally, I have. I woke up today and I was not on the right side of the bed and it took me vlogging to get out of the right side, get on the right side of the bed. So I'm just going to call it like I've had it today and stuff like that. I have. I, I really have. I've had it about some stuff on YouTube that people are sending me and I'm seeing and people are talking such ignorance and videos okay I've really had it I have to be honest with you I see people talk talking such ignorance and videos and I'm like listen we ain't stupid okay it's the 28th of the month okay people want to talk about oh people post this shit at the 28th 30th 31st of the month because they know that that's absence money I'm doing a rant video at the end of the month okay if y'all think that I care about the money that much, why do you think that I'm fucking doing a rant video, okay? You wanna know who cares about the money? Look at the people that are posting some real high titles and, and, and making lengthier videos towards the end of the month, okay? I'm just saying right now, okay? But listen, listen, Linda. I, I've seen like four or five videos that people have sent me today from four or five different people and I'm just like, have y'all fucking lost your minds? Like, seriously, does anybody have any integrity or morals out there anymore. All you care about is just the next coin. I mean, I am so confused about the world, okay? Listen, coin's nice, okay? It pays the bills and it buys you a Chanel purse every once in a while if you can afford it, right? But for most of it, it's all just to pay our grocery bills at Aldi. And don't even get me fucking started about the Aldi because I cannot fucking stand the Aldi, okay? That is my rant, is that everybody in the world loves the Aldi. Oh my God, all my friends and my family. Aldi is so great. Oh my God, Aldi has such great deals. Aldi, says, Aldi does have fantastic produce, I will say that, okay? But unless you buy the generic shit at Aldi, you're paying the same price at Aldi as you're paying at any place else, okay? Like, I went and bought my coffee at Aldi, my iced coffee. It was the same price. I think it was like a dollar more than what I buy at Fresh Time. Aldi is a joke. It is not cheap, okay? All you out there are like, I'm saving so much money at Aldi. First of all, Aldi don't even have normal shit, okay? They got like caramel, apple, banana butter. They don't have no regular butter, okay? But you can get you pumpkin spice vanilla butter, but they don't got no regular butter, okay? They got a bunch of shit you don't need that you're spending $200 on, and then you think, oh my God, but groceries are usually for... Aldi is a joke, okay? 
I was so tired of people. I, I went to Aldi the other day. I was like, they don't even have nothing here that I want, okay? They don't, not at all. They got life-size things of cheese balls that you can get for $1.99, and people are carrying them cheese ball things out, like, by the life-size. They're like, oh, my God, look at all these cheese balls. I got, well, you're going to fucking turn into a cheese ball, okay? Like, Veruca Salt did, and she turned in that blueberry. Wasn't she the one, or was it the other girl? They know Veruca Salt was the girl that she wanted what she wanted when she wanted it now, right? That's addict behavior. See, I want what I want when I want it. Veruca Salt, she's an addict. I just figured out that movie. God, I am so smart. Veruca Salt, she's an addict. We didn't even know that. She was. She was an addict. She wasn't a golden egg addict is what she was. But that other girl turned into a blueberry. Remember that? Okay, that's kind of like that. Okay, and then people are going to eat them cheese balls and they're going to turn into cheese balls. Okay, is what's going to happen. How did I even get into talking about all this? My husband's gonna be coven for Halloween. I don't even know what I was talking about. Talking about ignorance on YouTube. I am so tired of ignorance on YouTube, okay? Why why y'all can't just be who you are, okay? And you always have to just hype shit up and talk about shit that you just be you, okay? Just be if you guys say get fucked, say get fucked. If you guys say fuck you, say fuck you. If you guys say attitude check, say attitude check. Fuck you, okay? Just say what you really think in your heart. Because listen, all them smoke and mirror shit that y'all are just trying to make money, I see right through it, okay? Y'all aren't that grand. I see right through that bullshit, okay? That ain't even a rant of mine, okay? That's a joke, and the punchline is you, okay? You are the punchline, because you're ruining your flesh and your careers right down the toilet, okay? You truly are. Because y'all think you're so grand with coming up with these things. It's like all this kind of stuff. I haven't seen this stuff for years, okay? Oh, I'm going to make the best video at the end of the month. It's going to have the biggest title. I'm going to make all this money. All right. But you're losing a bunch of fucking integrity. So when you want to come out two weeks from now and talk about the, that same thing, but in an opposite way, was it worth that coin that paid your bills in October going into November? Because now you can't talk about that thing anymore, right? Because you done screwed the pooch. Because you thought it was so great to come out and have this great video at the end of the month. Get fucked with all that bullshit. Just come out and be yourself in videos. Like, I don't understand that stuff. People are dying to be on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok to be somebody else, okay? Explain that to me. Explain to me why you are dying to get on social media. This is what kills me, right? And all them fakety fakety ass people. You want to know who really makes it to the top? Well, not, back in 2016, it was the Jeffree Stars and the fakety fake ass people. Today, it's some real ass people. Why do you think Leslie Jordan, I was talking about earlier, why do you think he did so well on the Instagram stories and the TikToks and all that? Because he was just getting on video talking, talking about it. People live that, love that, okay? Years and years ago, Johnny Boy XO said to me, real knows real, and I believe that, okay? What real knows is fake, too. My battery died, so I had to go get a new battery. What's this woman talking on the street? Talking on her phone like this. Talking real loud. What? No, and then I went to 6.30 this morning to my, my grandson's soccer game. Yeah, and then 7.15, ballet class with my grand... Who the fuck? This is why y'all have kids. To go to soccer games, okay, in ballet class at 6.30 on a Saturday morning. Are you fucking crazy? Are you, This is what you wanted. This was your dream? To have 15 kids like the Duggars and get them all to soccer games at 5 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday? Have you all lost your minds? This is the American dream, right? Okay? This is the American dream. I will never forget back in the day. So I played a lot of sports growing up. I played hockey. And um, my dad, he, he tells his story still to this day, right? I never even finished finish my macaroni and cheese story. Did I got to finish that? But back in the day, like the first time I ever like put on my hockey gear, I was like, I don't know, six or eight or something like that. And I held up the cup, you know, like the cup that you protect your privates and all that kind of stuff. And I said, what's this for? My dad goes, don't ask, just put it on. <laughs> But anyway, this kills me, okay? That people, like, their American dream is that they want to, like, just, like, be go, go crazy in their 20s. Like, yeah, yeah, shot, 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 right? And then they're, like, sleeping with 1,500 people in their 20s, right? Just to meet their forever person when they're 29 so that they can get married by the time that they're 30 so that they can have their first child by the time that they're 31 or 32. And then by the time that they're 40, okay, they have had, like, four kids,
and they're living in this house that costs them way too much money. So both they both have to work, you know, like 60 hours a week, but they love their careers. They put so much into their careers, so they work 60 hours a week, and they're so tired, they're getting like four hours of sleep at night. And then they come home, and they gotta like make dinner for their kids, and have family hour, and do homework, and all that stuff, and put the kids to sleep. And then they don't ever do it no more. That's why they stopped having kids at four, because they don't ever have time to do it no more, okay? Which is why most of them people smoke the Mary Jane, okay? They are so exhausted. They don't even want to drink, because they know they'll have a hangover over the next day. So most of these people in middle America now, okay, once they get the kids to sleep at like 9 o'clock at night, then they're out on the porch, okay, and they're rolling them a good joint or packing that one and they're smoking some of that new weed that you can get out there in California when you've got the medical card and all that kind of stuff. Then they're getting high as a kite and they're passing out by 10 or 11, okay? And that's why they ain't doing it no more and they ain't got no more kids past four. But what they say is, we four was our limit, we just decided. Now, four was your fucking limit, okay? Because you got to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and a Sunday because you got two local games, two traveling games for four different fucking kids and two parents that's got to be in eight different places at the same fucking time, okay? And this was your dream. And then you all, you work all your life for all this, okay? And then your final kid, okay, goes to college that you're paying for probably by the time that you actually retire and then you retire and then you're so exhausted with your life that you don't know what to do and then you start a pickleball league and then you're so tired and you're like, God, I can't believe that I'm 67 years old and my life is pickleball and then my kids don't want anything to do with me no more because they've gone on and they're shot, 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 shot and then they repeat it all again. Fuck that. I'm glad I am gay living my, living my happy life up here in Indiana making YouTube videos. <laughs> Fuck that, okay? Y'all want to make fun of me living in an old people neighborhood? I would take this any day, okay? Over a bunch of soccer fucking games, okay? Listen. Listen, Linda. There is one good thing, okay? Now, we gone to a few of my nephew's baseball games. There is one good thing about them organized sports, okay? And let me tell you. Well, it's two words, really, okay? The first word starts with a C, and the second word starts with a C, uh, S. Can you figure out what it is? Concession stand, okay? That's the only thing that's good, okay? Them fountain pops are fantastic at the concession stands. They got nachos. They got all kinds of stuff, okay? Those kids go crazy over them slushies and all that kind of shit. They, you got to see them all carrying them around there. Parents, okay, you got to pay $10 to get into the park for your kid to play baseball. Then everybody in the family's got to pay $10 to get into the park, Okay? For a, a league that you've already paid $200 for your kid to be in, not to mention $60 for the costume, or the uniform, <laughs> the gays call them the costumes, $60 for the costume, okay? Then you gotta have a private coach, that's $200 a month, okay? And then, uh, then uh, your traveling team, hotels and all that kind of shit, okay? Gas and hotels, how do people afford this shit? Can somebody explain this to me? And then everybody out there, when there's 9,000 parents, okay, playing baseball at 6 a.m., and there's a 6 a.m. game, a 7 a.m. game, an 8 a.m. game, a 9 a.m. game, a 10 a.m. game, and you got kids all over the place, okay, playing all them different games, and you're just hoping one of them will go to the major leagues so they can buy you a house when you retire. But they don't, okay? They don't. You know why? Because they got four kids, and they're smoking pot in their back porch, okay, waiting for their kids to go to sleep and waiting for their kids to go off to college so that they can fucking retire one day. That's the American dream. You all can get fucked with that American dream. Okay, I don't want no part of that, all right? No part of that whatsoever. So anyway, we go to my, uh, I can't remember what we went to, but it was something at my friend Tawny Jean's house. She was having a family reunion or something like that. No, I think it was when her son graduated from college. It was his, like, open house. We went to it. Well, her family member makes her world-famous macaroni and cheese. Well, Tanya told her, she's like, you know, Peter's husband, Alex, is, like, the expert when it comes to macaroni and cheese. He, like, loves macaroni and cheese, right? Like, Alex, if we go anywhere, they got macaroni and cheese. He's always scooping it on by, the, like, you know, the ladles, right? And so... She's got this big thing of macaroni and cheese. And so he goes out there, and Tawny Jean, she loves this story to this day, right? So Alex gets this huge thing, this plate of macaroni and cheese, right? And like, I don't know, like a hamburger or something like that. It's like this backyard barbecue kind of deal. So we're sitting out there, Tanya Jean and I are sitting out there with Alex, and we're all like the three of us like eating there on this table and all this kind of stuff. So her family member comes up, right? And um, so she says to Alex, like she's real excited. She like comes up to him. She goes, hey, Alex, she goes, how you like that macaroni and cheese? Now he has no clue that she's made the macaroni and cheese, right? No clue at all. She's fishing for compliments left and right. Okay, it's a true story, true story 100%, right? So she's like, hey, Alex, how do you like that macaroni and cheese? And he goes, it's, it's a little runny. It's kind of watery. He goes, I've had much better. <laughs> Her 
so bad. So anyway, she was not happy about that. But anyway, she was in the kitchen. She was like mixing stuff up, trying to make it less runny and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, he's going to his coven. Okay, now this is about his third, fourth year in a row going with his girlfriends as coven. Coven means... You wear, like, skinny black jeans and, like, Prada boots. And then, like, I don't know, like, a Prada sweater that's black. And then you wear one of them festival hats. You know, like, those coven hats, like, they wore in coven. And then you wear a black cape. The black cape makes you coven, okay? Really what it is is you just go styling, but then you wear a cape, and the cape makes you coven. But then you also kind of feel like you're a witchy poo, too, okay? Because, like, you feel like you could cast spells on people and all this kind of stuff. Silly. Silliness of the world. <laughs> this was so sure going to be a rant video. But what was I going to say? Okay, so the macaroni and cheese, the coven, all this kind of stuff. No, but seriously, I'm so fucking done with Halloween. Like, I'm so, like, I have never in my life been so excited about something and so over it at the same time. No, true story. Like, if I have another thing of pumpkin spice, I think I'll spit it out. Like, I will. I think it'll make me vomit. Up. Like, and, and listen, look, I'm not one of them animals. You see those animals in the animal kingdom and stuff like that that vomit up food and they suck it. <laughs> No, I'm not one of them people, okay? <laughs> I'm not one of those people. That's Shane Dawson eating up Ryland's farts. I'm not one I'm not one of them people, okay? I don't eat up my vomit, okay? I'm telling you right now, I could care less if I ever have another pumpkin spice thing as long as I live, okay? Well, I mean, until Tuesday when Halloween's over. Then when Halloween's over, listen. When I go to bed on Tuesday night, disagree with me, I don't give a fuck, okay? When I go to bed on Tuesday night and I wake up on Wednesday morning, November 1st, Wednesday morning is fucking Christmas. I am ready for Christmas, okay? Look, look at our tree right here. This tree, she's so pretty, isn't she? Look at her. She's full red, okay? No, I'm ready for the leaves to be gone, okay? I'm ready for the leaves to be gone, raked up, bagged up, gone, okay? I'm ready for the leaves to be bare, trees to be bare. I'm ready for snow on the ground. I'm ready for Christmas songs. I'm ready for all of that. I even got me a Christmas video I'm doing on my Peter Nuss stuff uh, channel on Wednesday. I got it all planned up in the kitchen and everything, okay? I am so done with Halloween. I'm ready to just, like, throw out these pumpkins. Look, I gotta already take down my wreath because it sits behind me and then it distracts the world. Don't you hate that when you're trying to make a video and you got something distracting? Okay, like this door doorbell right there. Get, get fucked, doorbell. Like, I'm just so tired of some shit in the world, right? So, anyway. So, I wanted to do this rant video. I've gone in about 100 different directions now. I don't even know what time it is. I probably gotta start putting on my costume. Look at this, Daniel Harris. Get fucked, Daniel Harris. You think you're as famous as Jamie Lee Curtis. You don't even know. Okay, it's 5.53. I gotta start getting ready here real soon. So, I'm gonna be doing maybe another rant video. This will be like three or four rant videos in a row that I'll do. But anyway, let's read some of these rants that I got, okay? Now, I didn't put this up on my Twitter. I didn't really understand some of the rants that I got on Twitter, but let's go to the Twitter first. Let's read some of these rants. So, some of the rants that people put, I didn't really understand. So, well, first of all, can we just talk about this right here? This is my rant of the day. Matt gets HOH, okay? And then he nominates Felicia and Sari. Are you stupid, Matt? Now, Matt, I thought you said, this is like my reality TV channel, okay? He said that, and I like Matt a lot, okay? I really do. But we all know it's going to come down to Matt and Jag. Matt said, I did not come on this show for a silver medal. The fuck you didn't, okay? You going to backdoor Jag? Well, Jag's going to win POV, which means you're not going to be able to backdoor him, okay? And if you're going to do that, then you should have put him up at the beginning. But you didn't want to because you were a wimp, okay? And you didn't want to have to live with Jag being pissed off at you, okay? Through the whole week. That's what you didn't want. So you took the week way out and you put up Felicia and Suri. Now, I love Suri, but Suri ain't done really a whole lot on this show. I think she is so ready to be off this show. She's like, put me in that house and put Put me by a pool for a week. I am so ready to be off this show. She was done the second her son got off that show, right? Now, Felicia, she can't shut her mouth to save her life, okay? She probably will make it to the very end. But anyway, I like Matt. But if Matt don't get Jag out, Matt doesn't have a chance. And this was his only chance to get Jag out. This was his chance to get Jag out and make a power move. And if he had gotten Jag out, just let's think about this for a second, okay? If you are the HOH a big brother, and your best friend is the person that's going to win the show because he has won so many competitions and has done so much in the house to put so many people up and has played such a social game, and you are his best friend, and you blindside him and get him out of the house, they might as well just write you a check for $750,000 right then. Because if don't nobody gets you out of the house, you deserve to win for that and that alone. That is the best gameplay in the entire world. Y'all here for friendships? You need to watch RuPaul's Drag, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. This ain't RuPaul's best friend race, Matt. Okay? So anyway, I put up here over the other day. Thinking about doing a fun rant video. What's uh, driving you crazy right now? Give me some funny ones. 
I got 54 comments. It got 13.3 thousand views on 137 likes. I ratioed so many people. Like, oh, somebody said Sister Wives. I don't watch that show. Netflix prices changes when I only care about The Crown and Wednesday. Ridiculous. I don't, there's not really a whole lot that I even watch on uh, Netflix anymore. Anymore. Let's see what somebody else said. Okay. People, people who were, I can't, okay. People who work with the public, but obviously hate people. I think people that, well, listen, I mean, you got to pay the rent. Everybody's got to have a job, right? <laughs> I'll tell you my biggest pet peeve, right? Is when you go to a store, and it used to just be gas stations, but now it's like everywhere. And whenever I say this, people are like, well, what if they have to take an important phone call? I'm not talking about no important fucking phone call, okay? I'm talking about when you're at the gas station trying to get your fountain coke, okay? And Judy Smith behind the counter, she's like, uh-huh, well, that's horrible. And I go, what's horrible? And she goes, no, I'm talking on the phone. And I'm like, you're talking on the phone while you're checking customers out? You maybe need to do your job or get fired is what you need to do, okay? And then you're like, oh, here, can I, can I, I have like some, you know, points on my Speedway card or whatever. What? I have point. Oh, no, I heard you. No, I'm talking to her on the phone. It's like, get the fuck off the phone! Get the, I it! Get the fuck, that's gonna be my thumbnail. Get the fuck off the phone, okay? Why are you on the phone while you are working? I can remember back in the day when I worked in treatment, if we were like sitting for two minutes behind the nurse's station, just sitting there talking for two minutes, okay? And my supervisor walked by, God forbid, she would look at us and she'd say, if you don't have anything to do, I will find something for you to do, okay? And we got all these yahoos today talking on the phone while they're working on their jobs, okay? And I'm not just talking about gas stations. It's everywhere now. It's at the Dollar Tree. It's at the Five Below. It's at the TJ Maxx. It's fucking everywhere. They're on the fucking phones. Get off your phone. Listen, I don't even talk on the phone that much. You got that many people you got to talk to on the phone? Get off the fucking phone, okay? And Uber drivers, you too. Like, listen. I took this Uber with this one gal, and she was literally on a FaceTime call, okay, with 14 family members, and it scared the hell out of me because she was looking at them, and she, I was scared to death. I, already, I talked about that on a vlog. That's a true story right there all day long. Okay, now let's see what else somebody said. Hold on a second. Let's get back to some of these. Um, what's bugging me is somebody said the fact that Survivor isn't a real Survivor show. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not. It's not a real Survivor show. Oh my god! I have to tell you, here's my rant. Okay, is that I hated that Emily when the show started, and now I'm living for Emily. Okay, how does that happen? That the person that you hated at the beginning of the show ends up being the person that you love the most. Does that ever happen to you? <laughs> I want to tell myself to get fucked with all that, okay? Boring turds turn into my favorite people. Okay, people who go to the movies and leave their phone ringer up. Screen brightness on as high as it go. And it, my husband, let me just tell you right now, okay? If we go to a movie and people are talking on the phone, my husband will start playing TikToks real loud on his phone just to piss them off. I cannot stand when you go to a movie theater, especially when they have the reminder to shut your phone off. Why are you talking on your phone in a fucking movie theater, okay? And then you cannot take that phone call outside of the movie th theater and like miss five minutes of the phone. No, then you have it on speaker phone. It's like people driving down the street like this, right? But they're in the movie theater now and they're like, what? No, we're watching Barbie. I mean, it's pretty good. I've seen it before. And they're like literally shouting into the phone three aisles back. And you're like, I'm trying to enjoy my popcorn and watch this fucking movie that I paid $42 for for a ticket. Because movies are so fucking expensive these days. Okay. That's why we got that pass that you can go two times a week and we don't ever go. Okay, somebody said, how cold October is already? Like, can we slow down? It takes so long to get warm and gets cold so fast. I don't mind it. I'm ready for, like I said, ready for Christmas. But I will tell you this, okay? December 26th, the snow can get fucked, okay? It can get fucked and it can go away. I'm done with Christmas. I'm done with Santa Claus and all that kind of bullshit, okay? I'm ready for summertime. I'm ready for uh, bikini season and all that kind of stuff, okay? Not on me because I don't look good in a bikini. You wish. You wish for that OnlyFans, don't you? Look, uncensored elbow. <laughs> on my only fans okay somebody said hold on a second um why is pumpkin the only fall flavor i get i want something else too i like apple apple's like one of my favorites 
Okay, um, somebody said, hmm, this is from Cindy Lou Sunflower. She said, hmm, question is, what is not driving me crazy right now? Girl, I am right there with you. What is not driving me crazy, okay? Well, I'll tell you what's not driving me crazy is y'all. And y'all are so nice to watch this video that was all over the place. I really, just to be honest with you. I gotta hide from this truth. Hold on. Look, I'm trying to zip up my coat and I'm zipping up the... Here, I gotta tell you a secret. Come here. I really just wanted to make a video and I didn't have anything to talk about today. <laughs> oh my lord, as if y'all didn't know that already. As if you didn't know that that's what this was all about. But anyway, thank you guys. What I am not ranting about and I am not going crazy about is the fact that you guys are so kind to continue to watch my videos. You guys give me such an amazing life, and I'm so grateful for it. I hope that you are having a fantastic, fantastic Halloween weekend. If you celebrate Halloween, I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday of the year. And do something fun this weekend. Go catch up on all the Halloween movies for my uh, Peter Does Stuff channel. Or, or watch a real... I don't know, real sweet family cartoon or something if you want, if you don't like the scaries, okay? And um, then I will be back. Uh, I got, I think maybe a video for tomorrow, but then on Monday I'll be back with a real serious drama because I got a few things I need to talk about. So anyway, we'll see you then, Christy. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you then. Bye.